Previously on Lunar Lux, Saros and Vivia forcefully extracted antimatter from the Merc Slayer when he refused to give up his anti cores. Meanwhile, Bella was busy with both mandatory and optional quests, including a duel with Rain. Unfortunately, it turned out that the matter with the Merc Slayer was urgent, since the extraction operation could kill him. Alright, Terra. Tetra, this is no ordinary mission. It isn't? Nope, it's a stealth mission. Oh no, I don't want Saros to know we're here. Dad said he'll do whatever it takes to complete his objectives. He'll stop me if I give him a reason to. And I'm not strong enough to face him either. We need to keep a low profile as much as possible. Are you sure you want to go through with this, Bella? If we get caught... We won't get caught. I have my trusty psychic with me. Heh. <laughs> True. Heh. <laughs> Super stealth psychic Tetra is fired up and ready. Tetra, do you happen to have any files in Linux HQ in your database? If I said yes, am I in trouble? No, silly. Whew. You usually lecture me when I download top secret info without permission. Not this time, your data hoarding actually comes in handy. Alright, give me like two milliseconds. Done, what would you like to know? Is there another way into the prison compound aside from the main entrance? According to military base floor plans, there is an old access hatch we can use in the sewage area, which is connected to the prison compound. Ew, ew, do you just say sewage area? Yup. Please tell me there's another way in. Nope. Dang it, I'm gonna have to wash my jet suit later. Alright, let's go to the sewage area. Ew. Oh, the key goes to this one. Let's key confirm. Access granted. Won't they record my usage of this? 500 bytes? Do I have to out-stealth you? As the lead medic for the sector, it's my job to tend to the injured, and there's always so many. We've been fighting the mercs for almost 10 years now. What if our situation never changes? What if no matter how hard we try to survive, the mercs will just keep coming until we're all dead? Tell me, where are your thoughts on the mercs? Well, I don't see the mercs as spineless monsters. I personally struggle with the fact that I have to hurt these creatures in order to fulfill my duty as a protector of the people. I'm also aware that m most people don't see things my way. From a civilian's perspective, the mercs have killed their friends and families. In their eyes, mercs are monsters that deserve no sympathy. And then there's me, a soldier who actually wants to find a way to communicate with the mercs to find a peaceful solution. A solution where nobody has to die. Do you know anyone else that shares their perspective? Yeah, my mother felt the same way as I do. I see. You don't think it's possible, do you? I think you have better luck chatting up with the sun. The mercs are beings made of antimatter. They're essentially the complete opposite of humans. I don't believe the mercs are mindless. But I also wonder, what good can actually come from communicating with creatures who are so fundamentally different from us? No matter how close and connected we become, I believe there's just some things that will always remain irreconcilable. That's fair, even though I disagree. I still acknowledge and understand your perspective. I don't want you to think I don't value your opinion. Not at all. I'm glad we had this conversation. Military base main entrance. But they said we need to go to the sewers. Oh, we can actually open up this part too. Wait, before actually going to the sewers, I might want to just look around a bit. Master energy to make up for the one I gave Kazuma. Oh, 150 bytes. I should have checked these two barrels before. Another 150 bytes. Yeah, I should keep checking barrels. For some reason, people keep leaving money in them. I don't know why. Going through here is a death sentence. Let's go. Access granted. Uh, yikes. A red teleporter. Neural link. Support skill crossfire. We like to enter. Yes. Astrotech. Energy. Are gonna be mandatory encounters or laser walls? Oh, I have to hack them all, huh? Or at least some of them. 300 bytes. Astrotech. This machine has a computer that controls laser doors. Would you like to me a di uh, dive? Yes, I have to. Are there like multiple points I have to dive into again? What? Network link established. Bella, this stage is full of firewalls. Shooting at firewalls will consume firewall ammo. Keep in mind, we only have a limited amount of ammo. Wait, what? One more thing. Shooting at viruses won't consume firewall ammo. You can restart a stage if you get stuck. The shutdown protocol is at the end of the stage. If we shut down the sewer network, the laser doors will deactivate. Let's go, go. Some ammo. There. Get their life.
I see, shooting this one actually gets me more ammo. So it's actually to my benefit to go after those first. I see. Yeah, that one over here is not worth it. It doesn't even net me anything. Shoot this for more net ammo. Please. There. Huh. Get more ammo. That's a lot of ammo. Don't know if it'll be enough. Man, this is a brutal wall. Okay, that gives, that gives me a bit more. There! Okay. Yeah, this is a, yeah. That was a very difficult stage. Access Hatch a prison compound. What about the other barriers? Are they there for show? I think they're just there for show. They're just, a, they're just there to, uh, for flavor. Yeah. No, wait, they actually do unlock stuff. The heck? There, uh, skill booster. Question mark room. This digital display is bugged out. Hazardous waste? Wait, why the heck is that even a thing? It seemed like the patch is where I need to go as a mandatory thing. Could there be some hidden super boss on the other side of the forbidden door? Okay, military base. We're in. The Merc Slayer should be in when the cell's here. Why is that one empty? Weird? What's wrong? There are no prisoners. And it's oddly quiet around here. Let's stay on guard and keep moving forward. Unless we don't have to worry about them ratting us out. Here to the cell. It's dark, darker, yet darker. Empty prison cell. Trying your best to resist the urge of the fire alarm. Whoa. What? Is he in that, he's in that room. That must be a Merc Slayer's prison cell. How do you know? It looks like it's the hardest one to escape from. Tetra, do you think you could open this electronic lock? Hmm. I can't open the lock from here. We need to look for the control panel that's wired to this door. Alright, let's go look for a control panel. 500 bytes. 500 bytes again. 15 Astrotech. Energy. Wait, no, I didn't want to go yet! Another price jet suit signature detected. Are you kidding me? It's your business. Uh oh, it's a security bot. What should we do? There's nowhere to run. We have to take it down before backup arrives. Threat detected. Battle mode engaged. Hell by DX. Damn, it's boss like, too. Hmm. Cheesecake bomb. Cheesecake bomb! What? Minus three shield? Oh crap. Guns 
saver. Hmm. Shields. Generate Lux. Hello, Shield. Deal a lot of damage, but it's pretty simplistic compared to some of the other things I've dealt with. Hmm. Echo Barrage. Okay, now I just spam Echo Saber. Over here, the signal came from this direction. Damn it, I have to reload. Oh, two guards are headed towards us. Hide. Damn it. I that did, they should put a story marker there. I was way too cheap. Smack smack. We're just gonna steal their jet suits. I'm sorry. Tetra, double check their vitals. They'll be fine. They're just taking a nice nap. Heh. <laughs> they saw our face. There's no turning back now. Let's keep going. Wait, I have an idea. Stealing their jet suits? Tetra, you're a genius. Heh, tell me something I don't know. Just jet suits are waterproof and airtight. In my case, all I need to do is inflate it. Extend some robotic appendages and bam, we have the perfect disguise. Heh. With these jet suits, we won't trigger any more security bots. Heh, alright, let's go. The control panel should be up ahead. Hey! I need to reload. What the heck? Is everything alright? What happened to the security bot? Why did it send us a threat signal? Oh, uh, it turns out a rat tripped the security bot's alarm. We recalibrated the security bot to make sure. It doesn't give us a false alarm next time. Dang, I didn't know you guys knew how to fix robots. You guys should teach me one of these days. Not much happens down here anyways. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. I uh, just got back from my vacation, so I'm a bit out of the loop. What happened to all the prisoners? Oh, all of them were apparently transferred over to a different facility. Do you know why? No idea. I just know it was General Soros who made the call. I see, thanks. Well, uh... Keep patrolling the area to uh, catch the rat. Alright, carry on. Damn it. Why did they have to trip put it in the session convenient spot? Who? I can't believe that worked. Skill booster? Okay. Candy? Pickle Rick sticker in the slocker. Oh, candy. Okay. This area leads to the prison compound entrance. We need to go a different way. Astrotech. Uh, that's a control panel. Cafeteria. Dang it, I bet there's a cheesecake bar in there. No! Press the switch on the control panel. The prison cell door should be open to be unlocked. Oh boy. He's not here. There's candy. Maybe this is the prison cell. No, this is definitely where they kept him. Vivius Holotech is in integrated into this cell to prevent him from escaping. Then he the escape on his own, or is this a trap? Or he magically escaped, or... We have to hurry. They have probably took him to a room where they could extract any matter from him. We're gonna have to infiltrate the military base to find him. We have our disguises now, so we can finally look around without causing suspicion. There's an elevator, so we can use that to let's go to the military base. Let's go find it. Sour candy... Reinforce of holotech. Modify sleeping pod with limited capabilities. Why is there a security system? According to military base, floor plans, the floor was designed with security measures to make it difficult for prisoners to escape. No kidding, didn't expect to deal with lasers in a pit of death today. Oh well, it's nothing we can't handle, heh. <laughs> There's no safe point. One way. 
And there's timing puzzles too. Uh, it's just like you think about it, it's just like Tetra's mini game, isn't it? Hi Hyper energy. Skill points. Astrotech. This flips the, s the directional arrows. At least the red ones. Skill booster. I'm glad Tetra's position doesn't seem to matter here. Oh, oh no! Oh, uh, okay, at least it didn't set me back too far. Okay, there we go. Press the switch on this control panel. The nearby lasers are deactivated. Okay, but the... The timing lasers are still active, though. This just gives me a convenient shortcut back if I need it. This military base was built near the Crater of Eternal Darkness. It's the deepest crater on Luna. Light barely makes it to the bottom of the crater. I'm always scared to go there. List of wanted criminals and fugitives are displayed in the monitor. Is our name on it? I'm feeling a bit thirsty, but I could also go for a snack. What do you reckon, uh, reckon I should get from the vending machine? Uh... That's such a strange choice. Hmm. They sell soul savers at a vending machine? That seems kind of OP. Yeah, let's pick Soul Saver. My, looks like two fell out of the vending machine. Here, you can have the extra one. Because those seem to be way rarer than the others. Can I steal these? Experimental Gun Sabers. Hey there, I'm Zhu. I'm a weapons designer from Division 7. General Staros was so impressed by my designs, he transferred me to this branch so I could help develop new merc hunting weapons. This blade I'm working on is a Prote Polo Blade. Theoretically, it should be able to slice through a Merc without damaging their Anti-Core. This will make Anti-Core extraction so much easier. Experimental Grenades. Skill Booster. Okay. You! You've made quite a name for yourself in the Lunex Force. I can tell just by looking at you that you're a skilled warrior. But I'm in disguise! What the heck? Were you good enough to impress me? Apologies, I haven't even introduced myself. My name's Pond. James Pond. I'm the highest ranking battle coach here at the Linux Force. I turn weak and cowardly chumps into strong and capable fighters. Come back to me when you have at least 50 S ranks in your codex. If you complete my challenge, you'll be rewarded with something valuable. Only a few soldiers have been able to impress me. Do you think you have what it takes to be the best warrior on Luna? 50, huh? I'm pretty sure I don't have that many yet. Yeah. Oh wait, no, 54. Wait. Looks like you got at least 50 S ranks. However, I'm still not impressed. It took us forever to get all these S ranks. What more do you want? And you'll still be answering in your Lunex f disguise. You only completed half of my challenge, soldier. Getting 50 S ranks proves your discipline and battle prowess. In order to complete the challenge, you must defeat me in a duel. Wait, what? Meet me in the sewage area. I'll get my vessel ready for combat. Why not fight us without your vessel? Being an old man won't impress anyone. I've got combat experience and wit, but I lack physical strength. My vessel makes up for that weakness tenfold. Vessel or not, we'll win. Heh. <laughs> That's the spirit. See you in the sewage area, soldier. I beat a vessel before, but his might be a little stronger. Might be an EX version of the vessel. We had fewer and fewer soldiers here in the base recently, due to the increase in merc spawns. Most soldiers are either patrolling the sector or collecting anti-cores. Astrotech and... What is this, anyways? The list of merc incident locations are displayed in this monitor. This. Jetsuit production. Have you seen our tank type vessel? It's slower than a warrior type, but it's also bulkier. The tank type vessel is perfect for defensive combat. Do I have to fight that one next? 150 bites?
Lick's first jet suits are made with the best military grade materials out there. After centuries of space travel, we finally have a spacesuit that's compact, flexible, durable, and stylish, if I do say so myself. Wow, your battle armor looks really cool. Thanks. I've been working on several new armor designs that are in integrated with cutting edge EM wave technology. This tech would allow us to materialize our armors with a single thought. It should also give us a promising boost in speed and power. You'll be able to go a buck wild out on the battlefield. Do you have a name for the battle armor you're wearing? I call this one Battle Armor Zero. Okay, health booster. I'm only interested in multiplying the shield boosters. Because some attacks feel like you guys just blind spam shields. Historical archives. Lux combo recipe elemental frenzy. I, I think I have that already. Starlight Slash also have. Book titled Lunar Economics. Martian. Mysteries of the Cosmos. Nothing. 150 bytes. A cool sci fi book called Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Fall of Terra. Dune. History of Luna's Terraformation. Hi there. You look like you could use a new support skill to help you in battle. I'll sell you my Buster Plus support skill for 5,000 bytes. It'll be completely, I'll be completely honest. I need the money to help pay for my son's hovercraft pilot lessons. He wants to join the Linux Force someday. Want to buy the support skill for me and help with that out? Sure. Awesome, thanks so much. Buster Plus acquired. This is... Do. 20 power charge shot after skill. So basically, it's an art attack edition. Lux combo steam grenade. Nobody's allowed to enter a general's quarters without explicit permission. Whoa. It's a different type of vessel. Can, do I stand a chance like this? There you are. Brace yourself, soldier. I won't go easy on you. How strong are you? 800, Vessel 2. Do I have to, like, break his arms or some shit? Gun saver! Oh, hell no! Nah. Hulk. Oh, Rap. Oh, hell no! Ah. Wow. Seriously, precision for this is so insanely tight. Ah. Uh. Oh. Gun saver. Ah! Huh. Good thing he's using his easy power now.
Impressive. I haven't had a battle like this in a very long time. Baha! Congrats, soldier. You've completed my challenge. Cost upgrade chip obtained. If you equip the cost upgrade chip, it decreases the SP cost of all your active skills by 5. Keep up the good work, soldier. That's like a gumdrop for everything. Is there a limit to how many of these chips I can equip, though? Yes. That'll make it so much easier to spam certain things. Gun Saber now costs literally nothing. Well, not almost nothing, but still. In combination with the SP200 one, that means I can spam so much more. Especially if I can get gumdrops or some of my other more crazy skills. 150 bytes. Hello, Tech Research Lab. Wait, I didn't want to go here yet. Let's see where Vivio makes your whole tech. Hmm. Tetra, do you think you could scan through her computer? See if you can find any info on how her whole tech works. Sure, this might take a while, though. In the meantime, can I ask why? It's part of my plan. I thought the plan was to talk to the Merc Slayer. That's still put the plan, but we have to gain his trust first. In order to do that, I think we should help him escape from here. Huh, are you sure about this, Bella? We'd be going against the Linux Force. We'll be labeled as criminals. I'll deal with the consequences later. Saving humanity is more important. If I help him escape, he might be more willing to open up to us. Okay, if you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. I'll support you no matter what. That's what super sidekicks do, heh. <laughs> oh, scan complete. I was able to decrypt a hidden file from her computer. Commander Vivia's holotech is controlled through a custom program. I found a special password that can bypass the program and deactivate her holotech. Sweet, save that password. It might come in handy. Thanks for always supporting me, Tetra. You can call me Military Rebel Tetra now, heh. <laughs> Elixir. No revival fluid, though. Not sure what this control panel is for. Holo stars were, were used to generate Vivia's holo field trap. Hey, what are you doing lo loafing around? Make yourself useful and get back to guard duty. Why is he dressed differently? Guard's serious demeanor is unwavering. He stares at you with cold, unblinking eyes. Server room. The Astrotech. Data server used to monitor a military cyber network. Hey there, I've got a few ship parts I'd like to sell. Take a look. I'll just buy your skill booster. Everything else is just cosmetic, huh? Skill point capsule? Alright, skill points. Skill booster. Okay, now we're on this floor again. I swear we were on a third floor before, but it might be a third floor of a different building. I don't know. Astrotech. 500 bytes. Okay. What have they done to him? He's unconscious, but I don't seem to be normal. So that's what his face looks like. He's actually... kind of cute. Oh, we've got company. It's Vivia. What do we do? Don't worry, let me do the talking. No, wait, she'll rec recognize her voice. Let me do it. Wait, what? Master Bluffer Tetra. What are you two doing? You shouldn't be here. Apologies, Commander Vivia. We were looking everywhere for you. Oh, she's using a voice changer. General Soros has requested to speak with you in person. It's urgent. He also sent us a guard to the room in case the Merc Slayer wakes up. I see. Thank you for letting me know. Pardon me. There's no way she bought it that easily, right? Whew, that was close. At least it wasn't Soros. He's extremely perceptive. He would have seen right through our disguises. Speaking of Soros, I'm surprised we haven't bummed to him yet. That's a bit strange. I wonder what he's up to. Anyway, Setra, can you disable the holotech? Easy peasy, I just have to enable the shutdown protocol and put the password in. Done. <coughs> but what if we didn't get the password? What would have happened? Hey, I need you to wake up. Merc Slayer, wake up. Ugh. That voice. Bella. Yeah, it's me. I came to get you out of here. Seriously? But why? Because you're stubborn. You'd rather die than tell Soros where the anti cores are. I don't think you're a bad person. You don't deserve to die. Hmph, <laughs> you don't know me, and you don't know what I've done. Even so, I'm willing to help you. Because it's the right thing to do. 
Come on, Merc Slayer. We have to get out of here ASAP. Stop calling me the Merc Slayer. My name is Nicol. Nicol, are you able to walk? I'll be fine. I'm a bit lightheaded, but I can still fight if I need to. You'll head out first. I'll be right behind you. You don't trust me? I don't trust anyone. How do I know you're not going to sneak attack us and then run away? I'm not. So you're implying I should trust you. I need to ask you something later. It's important. As much as I hate to admit it. I need your help. Sweet, and it's settled. We'll have to- we have to work together if we want to escape. Bella, Tetra, and Nicole, partners in crime. The three Lunar Musketeers. Heh. <laughs> Is your robot always this annoying? This annoying robot freed you from the holotech. Thank you very much. Yomi. Humph. <laughs> Whatever, let's go. Nickel join the party. But... I don't have enough upgrade re resources for him, do I? His shields are actually lower too. Good thing I can just distribute this real quick. Oh, hell no, nah, they found us. Warning, lockdown initiated. The Merc Slayer is attempting to escape. Stop him immediately. Which is the best path? Because we're they completely locked out everything. And I don't think I can... I, good thing I grabbed everything in those rooms. Crud, there's guards in every direction. There's nowhere to run. Follow my lead. Huh? Jump. Bypass the entire level, huh? Uh, where are we now? Ouch, you're crazy, you know that? Which floor is this? The first floor. The exit is nearby. Target acquired. Initiating pal mode. Waiting for a target response. Not this, dude! <laughs> Another annoying robot. Hey, there's a pilot inside, you know. We shouldn't hurt them if we can't have- if we don't have to. Well, I need you guys to buy me some time while I disable the laser doors. I'll teach him not to get in my- our way. Are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna fight with me? Bella, you made your decision when you decided to help me escape. You're a fugitive too now. Now, even if the whole, whole if the whole the whole world is against you, you have to fight. Because if you don't, all this will have been for nothing. If you're locked up in a prison cell, you won't be able to change the world, and you sure as hell won't find the answers you're looking for. All right, fine. Let's gear up for Bell. That's more like it. Hell yeah. Okay, sure's a starting barrier. Stun Grenade. Okay. Bolt Blast. Stun Grenade! Oh, come on! Take this! Oh, he, it's stunned! Bolt Blast! Oh. Stun grenade. Win. Take this. Bolt blast. Damn, getting to the third level is really hard. SP plus 40. Stun grenade. Oops. Take this! Bolt blast! Yes, I got this stun chance, but it didn't proc. Oh hell no. Nah. I don't like this. Please, just end your fucking pattern. Dude, good. I actually dodged it fair and square this time. Meter boost, Crimson Aura. Blast! 
stunned. Yes, I procced it. Now to finish your pathetic ass. Ha ha. Anti-sabers. No, not a boss. That won't even help. Photon field. Gun saber. And even Phil's meter, though. I think the multi-hit one might have been more efficient for it. I don't know. His basic, the basic attack is supposed to be the most efficient, right? I deactivated the laser door. The exit is this way. Let's go. Give me a save point. Don't give me back-to-back -back battle, please. They took away our ship. Now how are we? Now how are we gonna escape? Wait, we're, we're seriously trapped here. We're gonna have to go by foot. I have a hideout in Colony Silica where we can we can go to. That's in the north. It's pretty far from where we are. Got any hideouts nearby that the Linux Force doesn't know about? No. Then we should navigate to the Colony Silica. First we head west. We trail- uh, the trail up ahead should take us to the Crater of Eternal Darkness. We'll move through the darkest pitch patches of the crater to avoid being seen. Alright, let's zip! Wow, they actually locked me out of my freaking ship. Damn. Grimaldi. Okay. Should I look for upgrades without getting in a fight? Elixir. Save point? Oh, it's a boss up ahead. Oh, Vivia. Just this, I'm disappointed in you, Bella. Looks like Soros was right about your imminent betrayal. I had a hard time believing it at first. Your loyalty to the Linux Force always qu appeared unbreakable, until now. I'm sorry, I just... I need to do this. This is the path I have chosen. Back at the base, you knew it was us, didn't you? I was aware you had infiltrated our headquarters the moment your little robot shut down the sewer network. Eh <laughs> guess Vivia is more perceptive than we gave her credit for. I had hoped you would be able to extract the information we need from the Merc Slayer, but instead you decided to conspire against us. Vivia, I see the Merc Slayer is still as sudden as ever. Tish. Perhaps my presence is reigniting the pain of the past. Or maybe it's just fear. Oh ho. After all, I did enjoy watching you suffer. For the sake of science, of course. You make me sick. I will not tolerate your defiance. If my vessels can't stop you, I'll just have to stop you myself. Pull suit engage. Vivio, we don't have to do this. Can we sell this without fighting? How foolish and naive. You underestimate how strong the commander of the Linux Force really is. Gah, I don't like this one bit. Something is clouding your judgment, Vivia. All these years I've known you. You weren't this cold and calculating when Mom was around. You've changed. Silence. I am doing what must be done to ensure Soros is able to save humanity. The Merc Slayer is the key to achieving that. Now enough talk, let's get to the fun part, shall we? 2500, that's too much! Oh, I didn't even get a chance to upgrade any of my skills. Yup. Gun saber. <laughs> Bolt blast. Shit! I got caught off guard. Oh hell no! Nah. I know I'm invisible, but still. Oh, nuts. Done you. Hmm. Well, this is kind of the opposite of the other one of Echo Slash. Anti Saber. Gun Saber. Anti-saber! Okay. 
These button prompts are just, they, I, there was no chance to even practice, so it's really hard to use his, all his skills. Lux combo, huh? Steam grenade, aqua flame, flame. Rock. Okay, that I don't nothing seemed to have procked on you. That really sucks. Fuck. Got some SP back. Wow. Voltage gate right when I picked that one. Okay. Key barrage power four. Photon field. Draw. Win. Take this. Stunned. Didn't extend the stun. Damn it. Photon field. Ah. It's random. Whatever. I don't even know what his anti-gauge does. Oh. 
damn it. There goes my barrier. At least I didn't take out Bella's barrier, but still. Deck is phase mode. What do you mean it can't be used right now? I literally had the whole thing filled up. Fine, stun. Bolt blast! Okay. Doesn't stack, sadly. Still can't use that, of course. Rain Squad Deluxe. Well, it looks like these. Does that mean these three have committed treason and now are forced to be fugitives with us? All right. I can't believe that worked out. Multiple level ups. This isn't over. I'm not letting you escape. Whole field activate. Tetra, didn't you say you hacked this thing? Looks like I win. Now be good, little prisoners, while I call for backup. Crud, it's the same barrier she used on me back in Copernicus. We're trapped. Tetra, you got any ideas? Hmm, let me do a quick scan. Looks like Saros and Vivia weren't bluffing. If the whole field reaches a certain energy threshold from the inside, it will implode, killing us in the process. Unless... We have released enough energy to overpower the holo field. Nickel, what if you turn to... No! My face form is too dangerous. That's why you refuse to use it again in the boss battle. You don't understand. When I let my antimatter consume me, my mind is at risk of being consumed as well. It's a form I won't use unless I absolutely have to. Well, this looks like an absolutely have to kind of situation. Please, Nickel. She'll... Uh, hurry, Vivian is coming back. Tish. Okay, fine, I'll do it. But if you end up getting hurt, just do it. She's immobilized. Now's her chance. Let's get out of here. Nickel, your face form. That was amazing. I thought you said you couldn't control it. Look, I don't like using it. And it's not always easy to control. It's complicated. That's all you need to know. The discussion is over. Alright. Let's get out of here before we pick back up a rise. Okay, phase form mode unlocked. This form lasts for three turns and grants Nickel a double power boost for his active skills. So, uh, he has no Lux combos, but he can use a, a, a super mode, sort of. While in this form, enemy attacks that do 50 damage or less are nullified. That's going to be exceedingly rare as the game goes on. Unless I use that damage reduction one. The, the support skill. Hello, Fluid. Okay, there's... Candy. Sour candy. Decommissioned mini-pod. That does nothing. 400 bytes. Okay, finally, I can start upgrading your skills. If Astrotech, okay. What the heck does this do? Am I gonna regret touching it? I haven't seen this kind of ship before. According to my database, this is a mini-pod. It's an older spaceship model that Lunix Force discontinued years ago. Looks like they abandoned a bunch of them in this area. Tetra, do you think you could jumpstart this ship? I'll give it a shot. Let's hope the battery still has some juice left in it. It worked, heh. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. We have to head north. There they are, don't let them get away. Oh crud, reinforcements are headed this way. Quick, in the ship! It's gonna be a tight fit. I, I think it's like one tile big. Uh, so cramped in here. Yeah, I forgot to mention earlier. The pod ships are typically designed to seat one person. <laughs> Do I have to dodge everything? Pro Photon project house detected. You missed. What are you waiting for? Keep shooting at them. But Commander, Soros instructed us to capture them alive. They won't be defeated that easily. Our goal is to slow them down, strip them of all the resources. Until they lose all hope of retaliating against us. Yes, Commander. Setting Photon Blusters to maximum power. Dodge? Oh, come on. 
Ugh. Just don't attack from all angles. Why? I can only take like five hits. Yo. I don't get shields, do I? They Holy fuck. Oh, man. We're almost there. Just don't die. Just survive five more hits. No. Uh. Yes. Even though that last one should have hit me because I moved to center automatically. 100 skill points for dodging everything. Okay. We left them in the dust. Nice piling, Bella. Thanks. Huh. Our problems aren't solved just yet. The ship's battery is nearly depleted. Land the ship. I see silica rips up ahead. How about please? How about no? <laughs> you suck. Okay, I'm landing the ship. Better hold on to something. Tetra, what's our coordinates? We're currently in Sector 2, Silica Rifts. Huff, we still have a long way to go until we get to my hideout. Huff, huff. Nickel, are you okay? I'm fine, let's just... He's injured, he needs to rest. Tetra, can you carry... You carry a pod ship. If we leave it here, it'll just give, give away our location. I saw a small cave nearby. Let's rest there for a night. Oh, man. Meanwhile, uh, I think that's enough training for today. My arms feel like jelly. Agreed, I'm content with today's training as well. Your new technique was pretty cool, Zara. What was it called again? Sticky Stone Barger? Static Stone Barrage. It's a long name, but I think it's pretty useful in battle. I admire your p passion for coming up with new techniques. You're going to be the number one Neuralink master someday, I just know it. I hope so. Thanks, Melody. Hmm. Rain should be done with her training session any time now. Yep, Ren Q. Oh man, you guys should have seen that last punch I threw. That ball bot didn't stand a chance. I'm on fire, baby. Miss Rain, I heard an explosion. Is everything alright? Oh, uh. Call the robotics engineer. The ball bot is, uh, broken. Again. No problem, Miss Rain. I'll go get the engineer. So, what do you guys want to do now? Ooh, let's go say hi to Bella. I wonder what she's up to. Good call, since the battle bot is out of commission. I'll fight Bell instead. Bah ha! That warrior prodigy needs some serious butt kicking. Tame the beast, Rain. Tame the beast. Hey, looks like we've got a new mission. Wait, what? Did I read this correctly? This can't be real. Fugitive! It's a cold purple mission report for high ranking military soldiers and personnel. The Merc Slayer has escaped. It says here our mission is to locate and capture the Merc Slayer and his accomplice, Bella Gray. No freaking way! Was Bella working with him all along? No, I don't think so. Bella wouldn't go against the Linux force like this. Unless... This is unacceptable! Wasn't that Dr. Thomas? He just bought a bullet right by us. Did you girls get the mission report as well? We did. As soon as the doctor saw Bella's name, he stormed out in a fit of rage. He's heading to the military base to speak with Saros directly. No, don't do that! He's too dangerous. Or dear Bella. He's- you could- he could- he, you could be used as a hostage against us. Now why criminal, Mia? This is de certainly unpleasant news. There has to be a good reason she's doing this. I just know it. Girls, we need to find Bella ASAP. Even if we are Linux Force soldiers find her, they won't be able to stop her. I agree, this is a job perfect for the rain squad. Let's go. All three of them at once? One was tough enough. One was already tough as nuts. That's- like six attack patterns I have to deal with in a single battle if each one has a pr two or more skills. What's wrong, Bella? Nothing, it's just... I'm having some anxiety, I guess. For years I've been loyal to the Linux Force, probably fighting and training to become a fierce warrior like my mom was, all for the sake of protecting the people of Luna. Now it feels like my world is slowly turning upside down. The fugitive arc. We'll get through this together, Bella. It might be tough right now, but we have to s stay determined. You're right. Could you guys keep it down a little? I have a massive headache. Looks like Mr. Sleepyhead finally woke up. Gah, how long have I been sleeping? Four hours. Four hours of loud snoring. Hmph. I heard that. Your stomach was grumbling. If we're gonna recover properly, we should eat something. Here, I always keep an emergency cheesecake bar handy. No thanks. 
There's no way a sane person would turn on a cheesecake bar. Haven't you ever tried one? No. What? You need to try it. It's heavenly. Fine, give me half. Nom nom. So? What do you think? Do you like it? It's alright. I've never tasted anything this good. What the heck? Heh, your face says it all. Glad you like it. Thanks, I guess. Since we're safe here for now, I think we should talk. Get to know each other a little, you know? Talk about what? Jeez, our socializing skills need work. Hey, I'm not gonna magically become your friend just because you helped me escape from the Linux source. Maybe a friend is what you need. Someone to be there to listen to your struggles. Someone to share heartfelt moments with. Someone to share cheesecake bars with. You should probably keep your distance from me. Even if I wouldn't want to be my friend. I had close friends long ago. And they're gone now. Everywhere I go, I cause nothing but pain. Everyone gets hurt in some way because of me. Is that what you're afraid of? Losing someone close to you? You're really perceptive, and it's kind of annoying. There's something else I wonder about as well. Why me? What What do you mean? If I was anyone else, you would have left by now. You wouldn't have opened up to anyone, let alone talk to them. So why me? Is it because you knew my mother? Can I ask? How did you know my mom? Years ago, back when I had low control over my powers, I went berserk. I couldn't control my power output. The next force came in and your mother was letting, uh, letting the mission to take me in. In my frantic and desperate attempt to maintain my composure and my sanity, I heard her voice through all the pain. I somehow felt the warmth of her soul, her kindness reaching out to me. Next thing I knew, I woke up and I was back at my hideout. I wasn't in pain anymore. My sudden power outburst died down. She could have turned me in, but she didn't. Instead, she decided to check up on me once in a while. She knew that if she brought me to the military base, I'd continue to suffer. Back then, Soros was the head of military scientists. He insisted that I be captured so that I could be studied. It's not every day you come across a boy of unimaginable and frightening power. She overruled Soros' request and decided to protect me. It's weird. I felt a strange power emanating from her. A power that my antimatter reacted to. A power that I felt coming from you as well. The power to manipulate Lux. Did my mom tell you anything about this power? I think we should get going. Hey, don't ignore me, please. I need to know. I want to ask you something. Are you able to control this power of yours yet? Not really, it comes and goes. If I can figure out how to control it, I might be able to communicate with the mercs. We'll be able to make peace. I see, I don't think you're ready for the truth just yet. And I still don't trust you entirely either. I'll tell you what you need to know if we can get to my hideout. Fine. But just so we're clear, I'm here because you said you need my help. And I need your help too. I need to learn more about the power of Lux. I, need, I know it was adamant on finding out where your anti-cores are, but now my feelings have changed. I can see they're very precious to you. Whatever the reason might be, I'm not here to take your anti-cores away from you. I just want to know the truth. Being ignorant to the truth will hold me back from being able to do what I love the most. To protect my people. To protect those who are close to me. I'll find, out, I'll find another way to stop Kamikoto. I'm not giving up. I want to protect the people of Luna as well. I'm glad we found some common ground. Let's get out of here before the Linux Force shows up. There's stuff inside though. Let me grab it. Let's come recipe solar flare. No more charge left in this battery. We should should have put in. Uh, we should use the solar panel. No, when I found this cave, these piles of wood were already here. Someone must have been here before us. Hate to ruin the mystery for you two, but. This was one of the spots where I camped out years ago. Where, wherever I go, I go on foot. It helps keep a low profile. When you're on the run for so many years, you end up having many hiding spots and places to camp out. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Lunar Lux. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.